is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 7 of my West Ham United career mode. If you could be ever so kind to smash that like button if you are enjoying the series, I would very much appreciate it. It is Saturday after all, it is the footballing day of the weekend, so make sure you do show your support and hit that subscribe button. Also, as we have a very important clash coming up in the Euro League against our biggest rivals you could argue in our group stages against FC Michelin, obviously of, I believe, Denmark. So it's going to be an interesting game of football. Um, this will definitely shape up the group stages for us. They're playing five in midfield. The main man for me is Sisto and Bia, and that's pretty much it, to be fair. But I can't underestimate him as a team, as Novak comes forward here for Michelin. Great bit of play here, as he links up with Paulson back into the path of Sisto, and we identified him as a threat at the start of the game, and he's come very close to breaking the deadlock there. As um, the opening for 15 minutes, or quarter of an hour, it has been all Michelin, as Lubanic plays it back into Singh, who uh, dashes his shot wide of the mark there, as we come forward now, Dari Setta plays the ball into Mahmoud Dahoud, who turns back on his man, the German does really well to pick out Dari Setta again, plays into Antonio, turns, shoots, and that nearly was blazing into the top corner there, unfortunately, it does go wide of the mark, as we come forward now with Mika. Antonio, uh, the winger, has made a really good impression uh, starting this game. As Galloway puts a brilliant cross in, finds Sacco, but he can't direct the head of Goldwoods, unfortunately, as we still remain at deadlock. Uh, five minutes before the end of the half, as Jenkinson comes forward here. Great play from him as he finds the Aracetta, tries to f find the back of the net, but unfortunately, the goalkeeper does dive at his feet. Going in at half time here. Michelin have been the better side, unfortunately. We need to have a better second half here and try and give them a good game of football. As it would be us, it starts off well from a free kick. Dahoud does pick out Obiang into the Diari Setta. Diari Setta turns away, shoots and finds the bottom corner past the goalkeeper. And just merely 2 minutes 50 seconds into the second half, we find the breakthrough. We're 1-0 up and it is courtesy of the centre attacking midfielder who obviously arrived in the summer. And to be fair... He's the only person I could see a goal coming from. He's been the only threat along with Mikel Antonio. The Afro Sacco up top has been nothing but a disappointment, it would seem, so far. So we need to push on and uh, hopefully uh, build in this lead. But Mbia comes forward now from Michelin, plays in Roa um, into the path of the uh, centre midfielder. It falls away to Galloway, falls back to Paulson, and an instant reply from the Danish side here. 1 1. And, you know, it's well deserved. It is well deserved, to be fair. Brendan Galloway is looking around there trying to look for answers, but he is at fault there. Um, he let the Danish uh, midfielder in and he's found the back of the net, unfortunately for us. But they, they've dominated the game early on and, you know, it, it might be a little bit of bad luck there from Brendan Galloway, but we need to see better as uh, Lubanic comes forward now for Michelin. Great pass move. Novak into Spav, back into Novak, back into Lubanovic and he finds the back of the net. Michelin have turned this game right on its head. The Danish side lead here. It is now 2 1 to them and it's rather frustrating it really is because I feel like it's the game we should have took by the scruff of the neck but we just haven't and the defence falls apart here due to a brilliant attack move Jenkinson got absolutely fooled there in um, as Novak turned away through the legs of the defender I believe that was Maizaga and Lubanich finds the back of the net but Diafra Sacco is subbed off in Bayern Yang um, who just simply hasn't been performing today unfortunately Diafra Sacco as Obiang gets onto the ball here trying for an instant reply Moses into his path here Victor Moses turns shoots and that's a brilliant block from Hansen there as we get desperate we do bring on Manuel Lanzini and Alexandra Song um, the veteran and the Flair player come onto the pitch and try and make a bit of a difference here as Nanzini does play it back into Al uh, oh, sorry Niang should I say the Frenchman turns away from his man here great play here from Mbai Niang cuts inside the defence falls him back of the net here West Ham with 11 minutes left to go in this game get a crucial finish to find the back of the net and Mbai Niang celebrates right by the corner post there I believe that is his first professional goal for West Ham United which is very good to see and you know what a time to get for the lad sends the travelling away fans into an absolute frenzy here and it, it was well deserved Mbai Niang completely takes on the whole defence here is brilliant play from him as he cuts back inside and he does find the back of the net with a brilliant finish there so when we play to him as we get into the last minute of the game now Victor Moses into the oncoming Manuel Lanzini who's been very good for us since he's come on Manuel Lanzini cuts inside shoots it's saved but it finds a way into the back of the net heartbreaking for FC Michelin and what a turnaround it is the beauty of European competition it's nights like this we crave for West Ham United have turned the game on its head it was 2-1 we was 2-1 down we was losing this game and all of a sudden, we've turned it back on its head, and we are finding ourselves winning 3 2. And I can confirm that would be the last kick of the game. That would be the victory. And West Ham United somehow, some way, grind together. And it just shows how the team morale is. We never give up. I've said that in the previous episode and I meant it as we come back from 2-1 down to win this game 3-2. It's great to see. It's so fulfilling for the side here. And we give ourselves a healthy lead at the top of our group. Um, I think it's safe to say we are clear favourites to go through. It would take an absolute... 
disaster for us not to go through now as Manuel Lanzini picks up man of the match. We get ready for our next game in the league against Chelsea. Likes of MNEK, Loftus Cheek, and Song on the bench. Hopefully, Loftus Cheek will get a crack at his old club. But, guys, if you are enjoying the video, just a friendly reminder make sure you do hit that like button. I would very much appreciate it as we get ready for the game against Chelsea here. Strongest possible 11 uh, for me, anyway. Uh, Danny Sabolos on the left now. People may be calling for Antonio to be playing there. And, you know, I really do love Antonio. I think he's a brilliant player. But, Sebolos has got more potential. He's a player that does perform when he's on the pitch. It's not like he's a terrible player, and I really do enjoy playing with him. But it's the same formation for Chelsea here. Lux Diego Costa, Cesc Fabregas, Jerome Boateng, and Thibaut Courtois. Eden Hazard is on the bench. Strength versus strength here. Five goals allowed by West Ham, the best defence in the BPL, but against the most offensive team in the BPL, Chelsea. Torre comes forward here, does actually find Diego Costa, who gets ahead of Ogbonna. Misses Ivanovic on his fast. Fabregas who turns, shoots, and gets saved by his fellow countryman, Adrian. As Danny Sabalos gets onto the ball, does find Eric Dia here. The England centre midfielder does play the ball into the path of Manuel Lanzini. He's been in great form for the Hammers. Turns, shoots, but Courtois does hold on as Danny Sabalos tries to put off the Belgian shot shopper. As the ball comes forward here, Ogbonna clears only as far as Boateng. Uh, forces back to Diego Costa. Great bit of footwear there from the Spaniard as he turns to the box. Finds, I believe, Ivanovic, of all people, who puts it over the bar. As Chelsea come forward yet again with Fabregas, it's cleared away only as far as Austin. Oscar finds Boateng into Cahill, but the centre-back shoots way over the bar there. Very, very poor from him. As Paye lines up a free kick from range here, and Courtois turns it onto the post for a brilliant save there. West Ham inches away from finding the back of the net as we go into half-time here. Very easy to see that West Ham took this game by the scruff of the neck, but it's been a pretty average game to be watching so far. Nothing really exciting happening as we get into the second half. Dimitri Paye tries to um, get West Ham spirits lifted as he finds Eric Dyer here. The England centre defence midfielder does find the Ecuador international and Valencia, but Cahill puts in a brilliant, brilliant tackle there to keep the game at bay. As we bring on M&EK, the Ali Setta and Miko Antonio. A lot of pace coming onto the pitch now to try and just force Chelsea's hand in this game. They're just part of the bus, it would seem, as Antonio breaks the defence into Eric Dyer, who gets denied by Thibault Courtois there. Very frustrating stuff for the Hammers as NF Valencia. Last kick of the game, you would uh, think, as Valencia gets the ball into the box and Cahill uh, gets there ahead of his man. Courtois does save. The game does come to an end and it brings to the end a very disappointing London derby. 0 0 between West Ham and Chelsea and definitely one to forget for both sides and anyone that watched that game. Very poor performance and, um, you know, on the upside, we can look at it as a 0 0 draw, a point against Chelsea and a clean sheet, but realistically, it was a very boring and dull game to be a part of. Courtois man of match for 9.1 rating we need to be better we do and hopefully we can be for the next episode um again very disappointing to see uh, we'll do some more training here reese oxford loftus cheek sabolos seaborn and sam byron all looking very good and poised to get up to that next level and i'm hoping we can see a massive change from since the start of the season reese oxford i'm so impressed with he's really been impressed with me same for danny sabolos as we do get knocked out of the capital one cup unfortunately very mixed episode, 2-1 loss to Hull. Um, it is going to bring into today's video. We are at the Capital One Cup. We keep our chances alive in Euro, the Euro League. Um, looks like we will be winning that. And uh, we did draw against Chelsea. So we get a flip of three different emotions that we could possibly feel in this um, video. So let me know. Let me know how you feel about exiting the Capital One Cup, guys, in the comment section down below. But that is a bring into today's video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you do smash that like button. I'd very much appreciate it and hear your guys' feedback. If you are new around here, you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too. I believe looking at the squad report, seeing how the players have grown so far this season. As always, I hope you have a really nice day, and I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Peace.